I am going to show you how to create a, a tiny relay module that you can control from anywhere in the world using Arduino Cloud uh, and one of these ESP01s, tiny little boards, um, that have uh, quite a few great IoT features including Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, the small size makes them a really good option for applications with limited space. Um, we've been experimenting with uh, combining an ESP01 with a mains rated relay unit uh, that will give you a compact, cheap way to make uh, any appliance remote control. So let's take a look how to do this. Okay, so you would do yourself a big favour if you got one of these um, small FTDI UART um, USB to serial adapters. Um, I've got the one that has um, a connector, just the right size for an ESP01. So you can plug it in there no, and you don't need to do any soldering. Now when you're programming an ESP01, you have to connect um, GPIO0 to ground to put it into programming mode. Now I, I know this looks really, really rough. I've just soldered some wires on the back of the UART so I can connect those together as it gets plugged into USB, into the USB port. Uh, and then it's in programming mode ready to be added to Arduino Cloud. So make sure that these wires or GPIO0 is connected to ground one way or another. And then you can plug that into your USB. And after that, it's in programming mode ready. You can let go of the wires. That doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Moving over to the screen, we'll add a new device here in Arduino Cloud. And we'll select a third party device, ESP8266, because that's what the ESP01 is built on. And the one that I found to work pretty seamlessly was here, ESP Eno, which is an ESP12 module. So select that one. Porsche, okay, let's call it Porsche. Now here, as with all um, ESP devices, when you're adding them to Arduino Cloud, it gives you a device ID and a secret key, which is how it keeps things secure. Uh, the device ID identifies the specific board and the, sec uh, the secret key makes sure that it's you that's making use of it. So copy those. I'm just gonna put them into this notepad for the moment. Um, I'd recommend you use a password manager of some kind. Bitwarden's open source and very good. Copy the secret key because we're going to need that in a second. Continue. Okay. So now the board has been added, let's create a thing. Uh, in this case, we'll add a variable. Let's call it relay because we're going to control a relay with this. And it's simply a boolean. And that can be read only. Add the variable which now lets us connect to the network. This is telling the ESP01 what your credentials are. So it can connect and you need the secret key here. If you lose those, you have to delete the board and add them again. You can't recover those. So now as we go to the auto-generated sketch, I'm just going to add a few bits to this code. Okay, so let's have a look in here. You can see in the setup, I've added pin mode zero as an output, and that's the, that's the spare GPIO on the ESP01, and we're turning that into an output. And then down here in void, you can see our relay variable, and we've got that switching between high and low on pin zero. Okay, nice and simple. And let's upload that to the ESP01. This might take a moment, a minute or two, because it's a bit slower at receiving the data than an Arduino board. So be patient. Okay, and that's finished uploading the sketch to the ESP01. So you can unplug the serial adapter, unplug the ESP01. Um, what we're using is we've been experimenting with one of these um, small relay modules which make this super easy. You don't have to use the module, you could just connect it, you could wire a relay up directly to the ESP01. But if you look here, it's got connector so that you can plug it straight in there. 
and it accepts a 5 volt input, so you could use a USB adapter for power. Um, and it takes care of providing 3.3 volts, which is what the ESP01 runs on. So it takes care of everything for you, really. Quite a nice, really tiny little package. So I've plugged the ESP01 in there. Uh, it's powered up, so that'll be connecting to the Wi-Fi and then Arduino Cloud. And let's go over to the dashboard. Here I've got an empty test dash dashboard. Uh, we will add a switch widget. We'll link the variable relay that we just uploaded to the ESP01. And then when we switch this, there you can you can hear the relay switching on and off. There's, a little, there's an LED on there as well that you can see. That's a really tiny little package that you can use for controlling pretty much any home appliance. This relay is rated to uh, 10 amps at 250 volts. So that could switch more or less any light that you've got in the house, most appliances, um, all in this tiny little board. Uh, and that's connected to Arduino Cloud, which means you can control it from any computer, any smartphone, anywhere in the world. Um, great way to get started with automating a lot of existing devices around the house. Um, thanks for watching and go give it a try.